Each and every week this college football season, I'm giving you my five picks against the spread that I believe are going to hit, and I'm giving you one that I wouldn't even bet with your money. First up, I'm taking Boston College plus 15 and a half against Florida State. No, this is not an overreaction to the Seminoles losing to Georgia Tech and Ireland. In fact, I still feel like the ACC is up for grabs and that Florida State still has a good shot to win it. But last week, FSU struggled when Hayes King got out on the run. And I'm not sure there's a better running quarterback than Thomas Castellanos. Last year, Castellanos had his best game against Florida State, passing for 300 yards and rushing for almost 100 more in a 31 to 29 loss. Now, I don't know if it'll be that close again, but Bill O'Brien at head coach having several months to prepare for this game makes me think that he will have the Eagles up to a hell of a fight. Number two, I have Arizona State covering the six and a half against Wyoming. Wyoming is always a tough team and they make everything nasty and muddy. And while they have a lot of returning talent from last year's squad, I just don't see them being able to put up points with a non-mobile quarterback and a lack of talent at the wide receiver position. Plus running back Harrison Wei Lee is out with an injury. And meanwhile, on the Arizona State side, they're putting a bunch of 23-year-olds on the field on offense like Jake Smith and DeCarlos Brooks. And I have to believe that they can win by a touchdown at home, especially when them boys from Laramie, Wyoming, have never faced anything like it being 100 degrees during a 7 p.m. kickoff. If you've ever played on that field, and I have, it ain't fun when they have the fires of hell on the other side. Number three. Virginia Tech minus 12 and a half against Vanderbilt. Make sure that you guys check out the video about Virginia Tech quarterback Kyron Jones on the Unafraid Show. Because I'm not saying he's the next Jaden Daniels, but he might be the next Jaden Daniels. Because his 2023 was identical to Daniels' 2022 campaign of 17 touchdowns, three picks, and over 800 yards rushing. Vanderbilt will be running a hybrid option, and that might keep it close for a little while. But this Commodore's team lost all nine of its games against Power 5 schools last year by more than this spread. Now, the Hokies are a smart bet here. Fourth up, I'm picking Notre Dame to the national championship. And so the fact that Texas A&M is favored against the Fighting Irish this week? I don't think so. This will be a bracket buster for people because this is going to be a strange reunion for Notre Dame quarterback Riley Leonard and Texas A&M head coach Mike Elko as they were both paired up last year at Duke. And Leonard says that Elko's defenses are elite at disguising their intent pre-snap. But he also said that he's confident that once he figures it out, the floodgates are going to open. Give me Notre Dame plus three. And my last pick this week is TCU minus eight and a half at Stanford. I like Troy Taylor, and I think he'll eventually get things figured out in Palo Alto. But Lord almighty, that defense wasn't even good enough to stop my son's high school team last year. And I have to believe that the coaching dream team of Sonny Dykes, Kendall Browse, and Andy Avalos on defense can handle an eight and a half point spread on the road. Each and every week, I'm going to give you at least one trap game that I wouldn't even bet your money on. And this week, that game is Georgia Tech against crosstown Atlanta rival Georgia State. Georgia Tech is favored by 21 and a half, and the sharp better would tell you that a team coming off a top 10 win overseas is going to have a little bit of a hangover, and that anybody taking this spread is just being reactive. But you got to remember that Georgia State collapsed last year after starting six and one and then head coach Sean Elliott resigned during spring practice. Now, this team could rally behind new head coach Dale McGee and Georgia Tech transfer quarterback Zach Gibson, or they could be a giant mess that looks more like the team that gave up at least 42 points in four consecutive weeks last November. Stay away from this game. Too many unknowns.